gathered the two remaining members of the new High Council for this urgent trial of the human Anthony Ainley for murder, treason, and illegally trying to transform himself into one of us. You aided the criminal tyrant Omega in a coup against me that has clearly and thankfully failed. Given the severity of the events outside this panopticon, yes, that, and the obvious nature of your crimes, I'm going to make this nice and quick. Anthony Ainley, how do you plead? That's not my name. You have no right to the name you so desire. Guards, return fire! Send those Daleks back into the Medusa Cascade in flames! Oh, the fury of a Time Lord. Words meant for the Doctor, but fitting for you in these trying times. <laughs> Is this all you have to say in your defense? Petty insults and denial of who you really are? Hmm. That's what I thought. Lord Lamal, your verdict? Guilty. Lord Reeves, your verdict? Oh, you are going down, Ainley. The plot demands it. What kind of time lord are you? The one with the real power. The eyes have it. Anthony Ainley, you are sentenced to loom without regeneration. Guards, take him to the loom. My lords, with me, today we make oh, our last I'm stand. Having. Where is Omega? Out of sight, out of mind. Meaning? I trash the mask. Oh, I see. First one back here with a fist full of plungers gets the doctor's ah. last bag of jelly, baby! What a life. As soon as I was cast all those years ago, I knew that truly becoming this role, that was my end game. Look at me now, being sentenced by the Time Lords themselves. Glorious. I can think of two things far more glorious. Escape. And revenge. Sunshine. Oh, new desk. That's nice. Um. Where am I? I haven't gone to another dimension again, have I? Nope. Still Doctor Who Road. Oh. Hello, Russell. I do hope you're not trying to talk to me, as this is a pre-recorded message and would be very awkward. This is playing because I am now back in control of Doctor Who Road. And now, 
I have the writer's pen. I can start meddling around with the desktop theme again. As you know, Chibnall made your place much smaller as opposed to the large wonderland you had before. And now I've given you a bit more space. As well as uh, giving you all my terrible Welsh accent to listen to, I don't know how to do Welsh. Oof, I was running out of space on my self-made big finish shelf. Nerd. What? Whilst I have everybody at my attention, I would like to say that the following Doctor Who road members are still very much missing. David Tennant, Matt Smith, Colin Baker, Elizabeth Shaw and Rose Tyler. The current information shows that Stephen Moffat has something to do with it. We tried to get more info off of Christopher Eccleston, but he's um, a bit shut off at, at the minute. We can hardly blame him. But yes, if you see Moffat around, uh, kick the shit out of him and then let us know, and we'll, uh, we'll be right over. Poor bugger. I know. Okay, can you hear me or not? Well, I can hear you. I miss Chibnall already. Eat shit. So to make sure everybody's got enough room, uh, you should all be living in a room. Uh, uh, I promise that nobody is living in a cupboard. But to make sure, I've currently got my good friend Derek Jacobi going around and uh, doing room checks. Inspection! Whoa, whoa, soldier. I'm just checking that your abode is, you know, Habitable, which it appears to be. I am so sorry, Derek. <laughs> um, so, um, where have you been hiding? I've never seen you around. You know, this road, it's bigger than a lot of you seem to realise. But you doctors never seem to want to explore it beyond your own boundaries. At least the companions sent gift baskets. Well, uh, well, I, 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 I suppose I never thought. Um, have some tea uh, tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm free. Every night, really, I'm free. I, just, I, I don't have much of a schedule. Don't exactly have to go to work or anything. You know, just do what we want, really, isn't it? So, some tea tonight, perhaps. Your place, my place. Up to you. Hmm. Yes. Why not? Doctor to master, eh? Oh, um, will John Hurt be there? I never, never knew where he ended up in this silly little road. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, come on, you must know John. He's the war doctor. The, you know, time war audios. He presumably made some with you. Is, is none of that really ringing a bell? I, um, I'll see you tonight. Uh, okay, tonight. Uh, if you need someone to talk to before then, my, my door's always open. All right? Strange fellow. Jesus fuck, you're still there. The war doctor. Time war. Time war. Have fun exploring the new flat, girls. And do report back with any hot gossip. Eh? Love goss. What does that even mean? You know, sinking at Heidi Hall's trap streets, if Eccleston ended up in a fucking cupboard again, you know, etc, etc. I hope not. For his sake, you know. He's been through enough. Come on, Clara. Oh, come in. Hey, did you know I'm probably a lesbian? Bitch, me too. I'm a centenary, Tegan. So, you can finally see again. Hmm. Kind of, but not fully. Although, don't tell Clara that. Mm. Or not, doll. Can you see that? Obviously. How about now? Yes, even if I couldn't, I know what it is. And now? Where the fuck have you gone? Okay, uh, that's not great. <laughs> Hello, docs. Have either of you two seen my main squeeze about? Just to make sure, she's actually there, right? Not a hallucination. Clear as day. Humble brag. And who exactly is your main squeeze? John Sim Ovs. Th that has got to be some sort of a kink thing, right? Well, you're not wrong. 
I would say complain to Stephen Moffat himself for coming up with the idea, but you know, he's like evil apparently. So can't really do that. Eh. Well, yes, quite. Um, anyways, uh, I'm afraid it's a big N-O, Michelle. I certainly haven't seen him anywhere, and well, Capaldi hasn't seen a uh, gosh darn thing. Okay, rude. But, ah, uh, kiddo. Although I'm kind of glad in this case. If I saw you and him together again, I would have some horrible Bill-related flashbacks. Well, to be fair, any amount of masters all in one room would be a truly terrifying sight that I hope not to see, especially not today. Foreshadowing. As much as I love my time being wasted, I've got to go. Okay, so if you see him, give me a little call. All right? Ciao! Oh, uh, Gomez, don't forget our poker game tonight. I won't, dear. I love kicking your ass in poker. It's so much fun! You're so shit in poker! Okay, that was uncalled for. I feel it, you know. And I'm not the best at poker because I can't read the cards. I wonder what Sim's up to. Knowing him, something truly deranged. I can't decide whether you should live or die. Because you'll probably go to heaven. Please don't hang your head and cry. I wonder why. God, I'm a good singer. Ah, oh, Missy. My sexy lady self. Did you get lost in the new layout? I believe you have me mistaken. Actually, you're sort of bang on the money. Well, well, well. Master number three returns. Who are you a different number these days? Big Finnish love messing us up, don't they? I need your help. No, no! Me first! You can't come swanning in from a few months vacation without giving me some deets. Deets. Deets! Details! Oh, Ailey. You need to get with the times with this modern master. Well, if you must know. I went to an alternate dimension where Doctor Who is real. I killed the real master and took his place. Yes, that was, that was point number two. Oh, I teamed up with Hermaga uh, in order to kill Paul McGann. Are those answers to your satisfaction? <laughs> oh, Ailey, that is funny. That was a truly masterful performance. <laughs> you know, it's funny you mention masterful. I aim to gather all us masters together. Partially to help out a new ally of mine, but also to have a little chat with Davison. Well, before all that nonsense, one question. Do you think RTD made the Toclophane look like my boss on purpose? Because on close inspection, idiot! Why? We had Sir Derek Jacobi in the role. Did RTD instead fart you out to the masses? Oh, I tire of this. What are you d what, uh, ah. Stop! Oh. Master Hive Mind. Sim, what on earth are you screaming about? <laughs> oh dear. Ah, the good old days. 
just a bunch of actors running around punching monsters that look like shit. I miss you, Brigadier. Are you watching yourself, John? Well, what do you expect me to watch? Love and monsters? Ew! Gross! No! No! You need to watch Robot, of course! The finest Doctor Who episode ever made. You would say that, you narcissist! People call Tenant the vain doctor. I am not watching that episode again. You made poor Lethbridge look like a bloody fool! True. It's very true. Although, do you remember that bit when I tied Harry up in a cupboard and left him for dead? <laughs> oh yes, that bit was admittedly hilarious. I wonder where he is in this road. I don't know the last time I saw him. I just told you. Ah 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 ah. Hello. 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 I don't know about it, but it reminded me of, of something specific. But, but we closed the cracks. It's over. Nothing else can get through. We only closed them from our side. That evil Moffat bugger could have sent something else through from his side. Or someone. Be a good chap and uh, lock that door, would you? Psychic energy. There's a time not here. Ainley. Didn't he die? At least that's what I assumed that. No. No, he was taken. No body was ever found. Huh. I know how my friend feels. Ugh, TMI. Oh, grow up. I'll be back soon. I've got to find him. Again? Did you feel it too? Yes, I did. Ainley's back. Can you believe it? Stay where you are. Stay exactly where you are. I'm on my way to you now. The war, the war, the never-ending war. Open me, you fool. Open the light and me. Respect. The fuck is silent? You're right, Derek. Yes, fine, fine. Just checking your place is all up to code. Should... Yes, yes, that's good wall. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of what RTD said on that video message thing. Although, didn't it sound like he was having a one-sided conversation with, like, someone else? Anyway, uh, uh, yeah, no, sorry. <laughs> I get a bit sidetracked in my own brain. I'm a bit socially awkward, if you didn't know. Uh, I was giving Sasha Duane a tour earlier, actually, but he needed a piss. Come to think of it, that was about ten minutes ago. Brothers. Continue your pool. Yeah, I'm doing it for God's sake. Oh, tell you what, whilst you're here, do you fancy a cup of tea? Oh, <laughs> very kind of you to offer. Uh, this way, is it? Yeah, yeah, straight through there. You know the layout. You've seen it about 13 times. <laughs> oh, how many tea bags do you want? I usually have about 57 myself. It, it just sort of fills up the mug. I'm pretty much just drinking bags. Oh. Oh, thank God you're safe. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? Anthony wouldn't hurt a fly. Look, there's something I haven't told you. Bloody secrets! Have we learned nothing from pre-calling unit? That secrets from us are a very bad idea. I never intended to keep it forever. See, what happened was... Oh, shit. 
Sorry, Paul. What did you do that for? Also, explain what you just did. I only sort of saw it. It's, um, hard to explain. But I endeavor to. Davison, with me. We have much to discuss. Ah, sir, yes, sir! Ah, oh, it's been too long. Capone, I'll see you around. Come on, friend. Hey! What about me? You, my aging friend, best stay with him down there. I only aged him up a couple of years to overwhelm him. Well, not him, but any attackers that I thought oh, were. Christ. Anyway, good to see you, Ainley. I'll get off, would you? Oh, um. Don't expect Missy to make your poker game tonight. She's, um, of a different mind now. Ha! Did you feel that? That is merely the feeling of progress, my friend. Now, why don't you head on in? You are going to love what I've done with the place. Look, I am ecstatic you've returned. Of course I am. But, come on, something, something's not right. You must feel it too. McCann even tried to warn me about you before you... You, you, you zapped him. Relax! It's just an accident. Open the ready door. Um... Hello, everyone. Sim. Drums! Gomez. Hello again. Roberts. Shit, sorry, sorry, I was in the can. Beavers. Slash Pratt, uh, I, I'm unsure. Oh, you can just call me Crispy. Okay. So, what is this? Hmm. Some sort of master family reunion? Dewan is trying to find the last master. And I'd have gotten Delgado. But it appears he's one of few that's managed to escape the road. Whom has it John Hurt joined him? Hmm, nice for some. Is it kind of him to invite us along? This is just my latest and greatest project. Do you want to know where I've been the last few months? You all right? Need a paracetamol or, or no, something? No, fine, fine. Completely fine. Just my head is a little fuzzy and strange. Oh, yeah, my head gets like that too. Like one minute, I'm this confident Time Lord with years of experience. And then the next, I'm a complete dimwit drooling over my companion. It's a bit like that, is it? Not quite. It's, it's difficult to explain. And if I'm being honest, would make me sound rather insane. More insane than this road already is on its own. You mean what? Cybermen cracks in time? <gasps> Cyberman cracks in time? Said they'd be real in the future. I never believed. But what would I know? Stupid old man. Don't talk about yourself like that. No, but it's true. You know, even now, when I want to check the time, I look to this. This watch is me. I'm going to become human. It hasn't even worked in. Where did you get that from? I was found with it. An orphan in the storm of an old TARDIS set. Abandoned. With only this. Is it important? Um, 
<laughs> you know what? If it's broken, then I'm, it looks pretty broken. So why don't I have it, right? Because I'm dead good at getting rid of fob watches. Like, I'm the queen of it. And miss all the fun? No can do, Jodie. Do I? Oh, don't tell me. Are you the master now? Oh, you totally are, aren't you? Exactly. And I've been given a very important task to collect. You. Me. The last piece of the master puzzle. You know, Ailey thought you might need indoctrination. Wouldn't it be in mastronation? But it looks like all we need is you. Okay, right, Derek, whatever you do, don't open that watch. <laughs> Why not? It's just an old broken relic, <laughs> like me. Oh, just do what I say, will ya? Now, Sasha, are you really going to make me do this again? You, you would dare. It's time to use racism to win again! Now they can see the real you! <laughs> Shame on you. You better not try and put Shooty Gatwa in this board. Be like a bloody minstrel show, wouldn't it? Look, I'm not happy about it either, okay? Just for the record. Come on! <laughs> it's Ailey. We're all connected now, so he knows... He knows something's gone wrong. He's purging me from the hive mind! I guess! So that's good, right? Does it look good? He's dead? Did you really need to scan him for that? We need to get you out of here. And fast! Follow me! <sighs> ah, multiple impossible things happening in less than an hour. Don't you hate it when that happens? I'm again. Oh, how very disappointing. No matter. We will go and get him together. What is your end game here? You got what you wanted. You're the master for real. Good for you. Now what? Isn't it obvious? Uh, no. No, not in any way. <laughs> Oi, Master, we should go now. We don't want to get you too much time to plan ahead. You all go. I'm going to stay here and fill my good frenemy in until he does get it. Missy, lead the charge. Huh. Didn't you know? The Moffat made me sexist towards her. Oi! I can hear you. Wait. Does Lucy Saxon count? Shit, have I always been sexist? Capaldi's in there. She's his master! Simple as that. <sighs> fine, 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 fine! McGann is in there too! He's my doctor. Well, yes, but... I mean, come on. I'm you, dumbass! In fact, we're the only two masters with cat eyes. <sighs> Missy, just leave them there now, will you? Instructions received! Come on, masters. Quick march! Beavers, away! Doctor. Master. Is some sort of kink thing for you? Oh, don't even go there. Do you remember when I was merely Anthony Ainley, acclaimed actor? And my best friend! Yes. I recall. That part hasn't changed. At least I hope not. You know, I rather enjoyed my 
life. But the one thing I missed from here was you. Funny way of showing it. So, tell me, what's the point in messing with all these masterminds, hmm? It's good, isn't it? <laughs> but that's more for a, a different friend of mine. But it does still work to my advantage. You see, if all of the other doctors were gone, you, my friend, would have more incentive to come with me. Are you inviting me on a date? Oh, no, 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 no. Something much better. An adventure. To Gallifrey. <laughs> oh, Anthony. You really are deranged. It's not real. Of course it's real! Did McGann tell you? Nothing of our time war antics. He was taken through a crack and came back out safe and sound. That's all he told us. Oh, that son of a bitch. Right. That settles it then. We're going there. Right now! Anthony, you have to stop this. I can... I can help you. I can get your mind back to normal. You know as well as I do that all the villains here either disappear or die. I don't want that for you. So what do you say? Hey? You don't understand. I am the master, and you will obey me. Now move. Look, I can't say all of it. I was sworn to secrecy by unit until the fire was closed, mostly out of respect for the Brigadier. But what I can say is that Ainley went crazy. Now he truly believes he is the master, which makes him very dangerous indeed. So in the last couple of weeks, we have had Cybermen, Autons, and now the fucking master. Christ, what's next? Daleks, Clinoids, and Zygons? Don't jinx it! <laughs> like Jack has the budget for Daleks. I mean, did you see the Cybermen? Like, did you really see? Like, did you? Because I, I didn't. About... Jack. Um, Jack's... Never mind. Hey! Stay focused! Look, they're gonna be here any minute, so you two need to find a hiding spot and fast. I can deal with Ainley. Don't piss off! Don't even bother going there! We all know that three doctors are better than one! Exactly! Besides, it's not just going to be Ainley, it's going to be all of them. You need our help. Capaldi, you can't even see properly. Hey, who said that? Mm -hmm. And Jody, you need to make sure that Jacoby does not open that watch under any circumstances. The War Doctor. Time to war. I'm going to convince him to take me in exchange for leaving the rest of you alone. You really think he's going to take that deal? Well, he does appear to be obsessed with the whole Doctor Master thing, so... Yes, kind of banking on it. Well, I wonder who that could be. It's Mr. Lee. Hello, deep eyes. Here. Good to see you, babes. You are exactly the same as you were this morning. What did the Master Hive Mind bollocks even do to you? Oh, that's simple. 
It added my urge to kill all of you. I regret asking. Okay, that, that's on me, guys. I apologize. Hello, Michelle. It's, sorry, Missy. Hello, Missy. Good to have you here. No offense to you, but I would like to talk to the Mr. Master in charge. So, if you wouldn't mind, bring me Ainley. <laughs> He's on the way. Don't worry. No, don't worry. He told us to keep you here by any means necessary, so please. Oh, please! Try us. Because I would love to make any of you look like Dobby the Shooting House Elf. <laughs> so cute! Or turn your wee companion into a saber man. That's too soon, Gomez! Or... I can chain you up and suck all the life out of you. Oh, I can't believe you're my master. Look, Eric, you could have explained our thing in a million different ways, so why is it that you went with that? No, now I can't say my thing because you've ruined the threat flow. Oh, go on, Beaver. Say it anyway. No. The moment's passed. I should just hurt them now, I like that bit. I think you're forgetting our other instruction. You want him? You're all going to have to go through us. King of the cliches! Kill him! Hurt them, my dear. Just a little bit of a maiming. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh no! A blurry outline of a laser screwdriver that did bugger all earlier! Oh gosh, Whittaker, we're gonna have a half hour nap! I'm bloody terrified! He said sarcastically. <coughs> no! We're back to the regular settings! No, stop! Under. Cliches? Because I've only got one thing to say to you. Someone's not seen Last of the Time Lords in a while. Isomorphic control. <laughs> oh, oh. Bugger it. Oh, she public menace! Henry's coming! I. Shut up, you've already done this bit with me. You stole my quote! I did not come all the way back to this road to get notes! Again. It appears you've not been telling your friends the whole truth. Should we fix that today? I have never lied to anyone here. Not what I mean. Hi, Miss Whittaker. How are you? Do you mind telling me where Paul McGann went when he disappeared from Doctor Who Road? Disappeared? When? <laughs> Paul. <laughs> you never even told them that. You fiend. The time went wibbly. I was with you for months, but for everyone here, it was just, just an afternoon. Right, what are you talking about? Time isn't what you think it is. It's complicated. I'm a time lady. I can take it. Look, people assume that time is a strict progression of cause to effect, but actually- Are you blinking me? Yes, I do appear to be, don't I? Apologies. 
What are you doing? Hmm? <coughs> this, yes. Uh, Moffat let me borrow some broadcasting equipment. I think it's, funnily enough, it's the same from that cyber invasion you all had recently. This place, I don't know. Anyways, um, you know what? I'll explain when you're big again. So, um, Roberts, I know it's not your thing, but would you mind? Thank you. It's tissue compression time. No. No, don't you dare! No! No, please! No! Paul? You are live across Doctor Who Road. So please do not swear. Fuck off. Oh great, now I have to bleep that. What if daughter of mine is watching? <sighs> right. This is what's going to happen, okay? I am going to ask you questions. You are going to answer honestly. Answer dishonestly. And I instruct my master friends to start kicking down the doors of their respective doctors and doing whatever their deranged mind wants. Is that understood? Good. You were taken last year. Where'd you go? I was taken to a dimension where the events and characters of Doctor Who... I was taken to a dimension where the events, characters, plots, whatever, of Doctor Who were real. What? Good, good. Now tell me, what foes did you encounter? Daleks and Davros himself. Others. Oh shit. Now come on, spit it out. What others? <laughs> well, I suppose if memory serves, there were some Autons we came across on their home world, as well as a very peculiar uh, um, Cyberman. Both of which coincidentally attacked this road. Except it wasn't a coincidence, was it, McGann? In fact, I can tell you with confidence that they were here looking for you. But because you never showed your face during these attacks... They presumed that all other doctors were me. They believed that I had just regenerated, I suppose. Exactly. And so, it could be very easily debated that the disappearances of Tennant, Smith, Baker, those adorable companions, they're all your fault. Anyways, enough continuity wanking. Basically, dear viewer, what happened was, he went to Gallifrey, he started the time war that he was so desperate to avoid, and then finally, to top it all off, inadvertently started two invasions that led to the disappearances of your dear friends. Did I miss Anything there? That's a bit of an oversimplification. But more or less true. Now that I've gotten some cheap revenge points, Missy, 
bring me Davison. It's time to get on to the real reason why I'm here. What do you want with him? A master needs his doctor. We're going home. What do you even want with me, Malthat? You've already stolen people from me, including my biggest cash cow tenant. What more could you possibly want? I just wanted to do this in my old office. Well, sort of old office. It's kind of changed twice since I was last head of right hammer. You get what I mean. What can I say? I'm nostalgic. Plus, now that my evil's out in the open, I can be seen being a cunt with nothing to lose. <laughs> Get ready to say goodbye to a couple more doctors, Russell. We're nearing the end game now. Very soon a crack in time will reopen. Sending us back home where we can finally live out our collective fantasies in peace. I've never wanted that. I just like playing pretend. That's why I became an actor for God's sake. Liar! He's not lying. That is what I want. So come on, take me instead. Leave me. No. Him. Davison is my doctor. That is how it is in the show, so that is how it will be in real life. Then what's the point in bringing me along as well? A doctor needs his master, you said, so where do I fit into this narrative? <laughs> I am thrilled that you asked. No. I wouldn't dare leave you empty handed. <laughs> Have a master all to yourself. <laughs> What? John? John Hurt. Reborn. Oh, yeah. Forgot I did that. Mm. What? Needed some cheap revenge points. Long story. how it was written, so that is how it must be. Why are you not the War Master? Doesn't matter. You better be ready, Ainley. Just another Doctor down, I see. Yes, hello again, Paul. Good to see you again. Mm -hmm. Anthony, let's go. Before you make an ass of yourself in two dimensions. Ah, gotcha. What will happen to him? Well, the trial actually happened months ago. AKA earlier today. Wibbly wobbly. Mm. Oh, quiet. Uh, so he will be placed back in his loom. After all this, he gets to live. That's an odd leave. Pro murder stance, Davison. Oh my god, where's my beard? He's the master, for God's sake! We all know how this is going to go. He's going to come back somehow and he's going to kill every single one of us. I am not looking over my shoulder for the rest of my life because of this one asshole. If it helps, uh, being put in a loom is basically death. We just can't say it for legal reasons. Is that right? <laughs> well, then, yes, take him then. Yeah, why not? There goes our friendship then. You threw away our friendship the moment you decided to become the master. How could I be friends with some murderous psychopath? You did in the show, and the show is. It's a text that can't be diverted from. That is fiction! You moron! Wait! 
how about a counteroffer? I could have helped him in the other dimension, your dimension, but I was too wrapped up in my doctor persona to truly see that. So what if you keep him here? And I can look after him. It'll be my responsibility. Sorry to butt in, but has this road always been this weird? I've been out of the game for a while, so... I'm not having him breathe anywhere near me ever again after today, do you hear me? Let Romana take him. What are you doing, McGann? It's certainly a tempting offer. It's less to do on our part, and we are frightfully busy with this war. No, 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 no. I have already been Omega's pet. I'm not being this dicks now. Well, <laughs> I mean, if he hates it, then... What choice do I have? It's perfect. McGann, you are here by... Uh, okay, right. Um, look, you were in that dimension for so long, you must have found a way to regenerate. I never did. I tried so hard, but no dice. <laughs> oh, don't be stupid. You're the master, for God's sake. Do you hear me? The master. Staying alive is your whole thing. Romana, there has to be a way to let him regenerate. Uh, perhaps take him to Khan. He was sentenced to loom without regeneration. Well, it's my responsibility now, so tell me, is that possible? In theory, yes. That's a yikes. Okay, right, abort, abort now! Again, don't do it. It's not over this prick. And we already docked his town and. You, you, you can't! This. You see this? This is what I want. Keep looking for them, please. Our friends, keep looking for them, but don't bother with me. I'm going home. <laughs> I win. <laughs> Not in the way I intended. <laughs> but I still win. <laughs> <laughs> Turn soon, old friend. <laughs>